गुड न्यूज टुडे नई उम्मीद जगाने वाला हिंदी न्यूज चैनल It is battle for Panchi the last bastion of holding out against the Taliban after the Taliban claimed to have captured all seven districts of Panchi Valley resistance forces has called for ceasefire and demanded the withdrawal of Taliban from the valley this has Taliban said they've taken control of central Panchi crucial road leading to the valley police headquarters and all the facilities in the valley however resistance forces have denied the claims of Taliban They said that Taliban is trying to distract people and spreading propaganda. According to sources, leaders of resistance forces Ahmed Masood is in Tajikistan for three days, and Amrullah Saleh is still holding in the valley at an undisclosed location, but safe. <laughs> Big breaking news coming in Taliban versus resistance forces fight intensifies spokesperson of resistance forces and a well-known journalist Fahim Dashti was killed in fighting in Panjshir on Sunday a source has confirmed this from Panjshir to Tolo news that's the big breaking story we're bringing to you at this point of time on Fahim Fahim Dashti getting killed if Geeta Mohan is with us our foreign affairs editor will be able to confirm this particular development uh, uh Geeta what's going on at the moment as far as one panjshir was concerned and two the story that we've just broken the grim news coming in of fahim dashti journalist who was killed in the fighting uh, between uh, uh, the resistance forces and taliban uh, this is source based information coming in at this point of time can we confirm this well so that's right these are developments coming in from panjshir confirmation of uh, uh, fahim dashti's uh, uh, killing and the killing of uh, general daud who is uh, the nephew of ahmed shah masood and cousin of ahmed masood both have been uh, both have been killed in the in the fights and clashes with the taliban is uh, what is being reported uh, confirmed by many of the networks within afghanistan a uh, very serious development because it seems like panjshir uh, now there are many areas within panjshir that are under the control of the taliban this even as ahmed masood uh, in a facebook page post has uh, sought conversations and negotiations with the taliban rather than this massive killing spree that the taliban is uh, t- uh, has undertaken in panchi valley so it is a very serious scenario for the resistance force because uh, they uh, hardly have any backup or ammunition left and uh, the whereas the taliban have air support coming in from pakistan as what has been reported so uh, that's the reason why ahmed masood now is seeking negotiations rather than the bloodshed that is underway in panchi thanks geeta for those developments that are coming in geeta mohan is going to be getting us all the latest as the story develops thanks for now geeta for joining us this morning The Taliban have postponed the government formation for the second time since they took control of Afghanistan. India today has learned about a possible rift between Taliban factions and Haqqani network. The Haqqanis have demanded all crucial home, interior and defense ministries, but Supreme Leader Hebatullah Khanzada has not accepted these demands. Speaking to India today, Mohammad Yusuf Saha, the spokesperson of former Afghan president Hamid Karzai, has said that the negotiations are on with the Taliban for an inclusive government. He added that rights of afghans will be respected in the new government meanwhile president of iran ibrahim raisi has said that tehran will only support a democratically elected government hinting that it will not accept a taliban led afghan government india today's god of sound spoke with taliban spokesperson suhail shaheen on rift with the haqqani network listen in suhail shaheen aap se ye janna chahenge सरकार बननी थी तालिबान की ये तालिबान की सरकार का ऐलान होना था शुक्रवार को फ्राइडे को अभी तक नहीं हो पाया है कब बनेगी सरकार हमने मुशावरत की जरूरत थी क्या हम मुशावरत करें आपस में भी और दूसरे अफगान पुलिस स्टेशन से भी इसलिए जरूरत थी टाइम थी तो लेकिन वो मुशावरत मुकम्मल हो चुकी है इनशाला जल्दी नए हुकूमत ऐलान हो जाएगा आप मशावरत कर रहे हैं क्या जो कंधारी तालिबान है और जो हकानी नेटवर्क है सिराजुद्दीन हकानी और मुल्ला अब्दुल गनी बरदर क्या दोनों में बहुत ज्यादा डिफरेंसेस हैं लड़ाई हो रही है आपस में नहीं नहीं कोई कोई डिफरेंस नहीं है कोई लड़ाई नहीं है हमारी एक आइडियोलॉजी है एक पॉलिसी है 
ऐसा कुछ नहीं है लेकिन जो वो रिपोर्ट्स है ऐसे आपकी तरफ से या दूसरी तरफ से वो तो 20 साल से ऐसे पॉलिटिकली मोटिवेटेड रिपोर्ट्स कर रही है लेकिन वो हकत को रिफ्लेक्ट नहीं करते लेकिन जो तालिबान के हेड है मुल्ला अखुन ज्यादा हैबतुल्ला अखुन ज्यादा वो क्या अभी भी कंधार में है वो किसी से मिले हुए हैं किसी के सामने अभी तक नहीं आए ऐसा क्यों बिल्कुल आ जाएगा बिल्कुल आ जाएगा वो दर मिले हुए हैं वो उन्होंने ये वो लीडरशिप कौंसल के जलसे को उसको भी उन्होंने लीड किया मुशावरत में मौजूद है और डिसीजन मेकिंग में मौजूद है और इन शलान के बाद वो बिल्कुल नेशन के सामने भी आ जाएगा अच्छा अगर मशावरत हो रही है आपस में हो रही है तालिबान की तो पाकिस्तान के डीजी आईएसआई क्या कर रहे हैं काबुल में उनका क्या काम काबुल में वो तो आप जानते हैं कि जो काबुल के जो सीनियर आप शल थे वो पाकिस्तान अफगानिस्तान से जाके पाकिस्तान में गए उधर बैठे हुए है और कोशिश कर रहे थे कि कुछ मजाकर को रिकनसलेशन की कोशिश कर रहे थे तो शायद उसके आना इससे कनेक्टेड हो उनकी मुला बरदर से बातचीत हुई है तो क्या वो जो लड़ाई की बात हो रही है कि हकानी सिराजुद्दीन हकानी अनस हकानी और मुला बरदर जो कंधारी तालिबान और पाकिस्तान के तालिबान में लड़ाई है उसको वो सुलह कराने के लिए आए हैं नहीं नहीं वो गलत है हमारे रेवोल्यूशन इतने से की बेस नहीं है तो ये इस्लामी आइडियोलॉजी बेस है और ये है वो जो ये कहा कैसे है वो हमारी ये रेवोल्यूशन का नेचर भी नहीं जानते Pakistan reopens its airfields near Afghanistan and Kashmir in a bid to interfere in Afghanistan. Pakistan has activated Chamsi Air Base in Balochistan near the Afghan border. Sources tell India today that a significant amount of air activity has been observed in that region that is aimed at providing tactical support to Taliban. In addition to Chamsi, the terror backer has also reopened Rawal Coat and Kotli airfields close to Kashmir. Sources claim that these two air bases are part of the list of 12 satellite bases activated regularly by Pakistan Air Force to back its army. Sources further suggest that New Delhi is now keeping a close watch on these developments. Our security agencies are monitoring the recently activated airfields and the activities of Pakistan Air Force are also being tracked. The Bengal showdown is likely to escalate with top leaders of BJP and TMC being summoned in two different cases. Mamta's nephew and TMC General Secretary Abhishek Banerjee and Leader of Opposition Shivendu Adhikari are all set to appear before two probe agencies. Banerjee is going to be facing the ED in Delhi at about 11 a.m. He has been summoned in a connection to an alleged coal smuggling case in Bengal. This comes after ED issued summons to his wife Rajira, who skipped the summons. Meanwhile, Bengal CID has summoned BJP Shivendu Adhikari in connection to an investigation in the mysterious death of his guard. He is going to be appearing today at about 11 a.m. at the CID headquarters at Bhavani Bhavan in Kolkata. Shivendu's guard died in 2018, reportedly shot himself, but his wife filed a murder case later. तो जनसमक्षे आनचन ना क्या ये चिठी दिशन डाक कलकार केस हाँ के डेके पाठ दिए दिल्ली हमें जब दिल्ली हमें तो जा आई एम रेडी टू फेस एनी एंड एवरी कईंड अफ इन्भेस्टिगेशन क्योंकि तो मानुष ठीक कर हरे गए राजनैतिक भाव राजनैतिक भाव मोकबिला ना करते पे तृणमूल कॉग्रेसर सहिंसा परायण राजनीति नेमे एवं तदंतकारी संस्थागुलो के पिछने लागिए निजेद राजनैतिक स्वार्थ चरितार्थ करा छाड़ा को Karnataka government has announced that Ganesh Puja celebrations will be allowed for 5 days across the state this year. Chief Minister Basavraj Bommai gave the green light on Sunday but specified that there will be a few restrictions. Celebrations are going to be allowed in areas that have test positivity ratio below 2% and those attending celebrations will have to be fully vaccinated. 
processions and other entertainment programs have been prohibited. Only 20 people are going to be allowed for cultural celebrations as well as immersion. Organizers will also have to take police's permission before setting up the pandals. Uh, State Revenue Minister Ashok on uh, Sunday highlighted that Ganpati pandals must not be more than 50 feet by 50 feet and only one pandal will be permitted per ward. The government allowing the uh, festival, but uh, many restrictions is there. There is no pro procession, there is no orchestra, there is no DJ. And uh, pendal must be uh, 50 feet by 50 feet. And COVID uh, vaccination is compulsory wherever the public uh, uh, Ganapati uh, festival is going on. Compulsory. There is no end to COVID woes in Kerala. The southernmost state reported 26,701 fresh COVID cases on Sunday. 74 COVID-related deaths were reported in 24 hours. Meanwhile, amidst the rising number of COVID cases and Nepal-related reported death in Kerala, Tamil Nadu has stepped up measures to monitor people who arrive from Kerala in nine bordering districts. Tamil Nadu's Minister for Medical and Family Welfare, Subramaniam, has said that health officials will hold fever camps at entry points in these border districts. Passengers will go through thermal scanning along with saturation level testing. The state continues to embattle deadly COVID virus. Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan yesterday announced that the state would continue its COVID restrictions. Kerala earlier imposed night curfew and lockdown on Sundays owing to the rising COVID cases in the state. Kerala is witnessing its worst health crisis. Amid COVID case explosion, Nipah virus is threatening the state. It's double whammy for God's own country. The deadly Nipah virus has resurfaced in the state, claiming the life of a 12-year-old boy in Kodikod. The center has rushed a team to help the state government. We have identified about 188 primary contacts and out of which 20 persons are in high-risk category. So we are shifting those 20 persons to MCH, Medical College Kodikod. We are uh, working and we have formulated an action plan and we have formulated more than 16 core groups. Nipah is a zoonotonic virus and can be transmitted to humans from animals such as bats and pigs. The disease has a high fatality rate and there's no known treatment or vaccine available. Like COVID, it causes respiratory distress and in severe cases, encephalitis or inflammation of brain is reported. Kerala, meanwhile, has recorded more than 29,000 new COVID infections on Saturday, contributing to nearly 70% of country's total COVID cases. The state also recorded the majority of deaths from COVID. 142 people died in Kerala on Saturday, while Pan-India toll was 308. The positivity rate, too, stands at an alarming 17.54%, the highest in the country. However, Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan says that situation is under control and there is no big spike after the Onam festival. The night curfew and Sunday lockdown will continue in the state till the situation improves. I don't think Kerala is going to have a separate third wave because we haven't touched baseline after second wave. So numbers might be coming to slightly higher num uh, levels. We, uh, in fact, have been doing a lot of projections and rethink on this. We do not really think that we will have a big surge or anything. How long before Kerala manages to contain the massive twin health challenges? With Gopi Krishnan Unnitan in Tiruvannandapuram, Bureau Report, India Today. India Today Group launches Good News Today channel dedicated to truth and good news amidst the tough pandemic time. Get ready for Good News Wali Smile. Ready? Good news, Wali Smile. Ke liye. It's a soaring moment for Indian television. The turning point in TV viewing. Uh -huh. 
watching news will no longer be the same. Welcome to the world of good news. Enter India Today's brand new Good News Today channel. A television news channel which will change the world of news and your perspective forever. Good News Today, new Umeed Jagane Wala Hindi News Channel. Hum ek aur baar news ki disha is news channel ke saath badal rahe hain. Is news channel ka focus positive news rahega. कोरोना की सबसे बड़ी सीख है कि जब कुछ भी चीज आपके कंट्रोल में नहीं है तो वो क्या एक चीज है जो हमें संभाल सकती है वो है आत्मविश्वास ये चैनल का मिशन होगा कि ये आत्मविश्वास कभी ना टूटे हम उम्मीद को कायम रखेंगे इस चैनल का काम होगा देश के हौसले को बुलंद रखना हर रोज एक ऐसी खबर लेकर आए जिससे दिल खुश हो जाए जो इंस्पायर करे जो मोटिवेट करे हमारे दर्शकों को कुछ बड़ा करने के लिए कुछ नया करने के लिए एक ऐसा न्यूज चैनल जो आपकी जीत धूमधाम से मनाए पर अगर वो ना हो पाए तो आपका हाथ पकड़कर आपको एक और बार ट्राई करने की हिम्मत दे After Aaj Tak, Aaj Tak HD and India Today, Good News Today is the India Today Group's fourth news channel. Kali, we were working for a long time. Look, I'm going to run lights. Of course, you and my face, Good News Wali smile. On Good News Today or GND, viewers can expect the truth and the good side of every news story. The tale of our braves which inspire. Every evening at 9, Sonu Sood will narrate Bharat Ki Baat. Aapke saath, Desh Ki Baat sunata. Dekhi har roz, raat 9 baje. Sir, good news today pa. Mera maksad ye rega ki good news ke zariye, ek aisa parivar banana hai. Showcasing those who through their work have become examples of good news themselves. Those examples of good news ki ki boss, aapne good news channel dekha, uske andar rishte bante hai. The India Today group has always revolutionized the world of news, setting the gold standard of journalism. Maharashtra mein. Achhi baate sun lo mere bhai. अच्छी बातें सुन लो मेरे भाई। And good news today is the revolution of smiles in an otherwise conflict-marred world. उम्मीद के वर्क में लिपटी छोटी-छोटी खुशियाँ रोज़ आपके दरवाज़े पर। Bureau Report India Today। आऊँगा मैं भी आपसे करने कुछ अच्छी बात। रोज़ सुबह सिर्फ good news today। It's a wrap from me, Chaiti Nanula, on this bulletin for news and updates. Don't forget to log on to India Today.in or download our app.